My life is in your hands. My life is in your hands. You took control when I was young, when I was not able. My life is in your hands. My life is in your hands. You took control when I was young, when I was not able. Hey, welcome to my show called Inspired Blessings with Jean Marie Prince. And today we have a very special guest. And her name is Emily Rachel with her um, dog, Carmel. And um, just want to thank you so much for my being pleasure. able to thank come you. today. Thank you. It's my pleasure. Good. So well, I'm going to be asking you to speak a little bit louder, okay? okay. So because I'd like my guests to be able to hear you. Now, um, like I was saying before, is like what a jazzy uh, wheelchair that you have, and it's unique, it's just like you are <laughs> as well. You. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. I but, love it. But Lots now, of bling. <laughs> you weren't always having a wheelchair right you Correct. used to walk at one point yes. so what actually happened that you ended up uh, being disabled well the reader's digest version is i have very rare conditions mm -hmm. and one day i could scooch across the floor where i didn't couldn't pick my feet up but i could walk with a walker and it took me a very long time to move and then one day i went to stand up out of bed and i hit the ground and I tried to stand up again and hit the ground again and one leg went in one direction, the other went in the other and my head connected with the wall. Wow. And I realized at that moment I would never walk again and that's How old were you? Things that bad started happening in my 30s. 30s. Okay, so at, at the point of, before this happened, what were you actually doing? I was singing, I was selling jewelry, I worked in all kinds of different retail environments because I love people and I love selling things mm -hmm. to them. Mm -hmm. So those are basically the things I was doing and then I just started to get really, really sick. Okay, now if you didn't hit your head, would that have had made any, any kind of factor? No. no? Okay, gotcha. Uh, is this something that was hereditary? Have you heard of, of anybody having the particular disease in your family? Yes, it depends on which surgeon you ask. Mm -hmm. But yes, it is hereditary, and I'm the one in my family who got all the conditions at once. Wow, so can you say it again, what that disease was? The sure, name? I have Chiari malformation, which is a... Um, it's a ba basically the herniation in the brain where you have four tonsils mm -hmm. in your body and the two in the back of your head fell down and they had to go in and replace and, and fix those tonsils and put them back into place. So that's QRI malformation one. I have elo stanlo syndrome type three, which is a connective tissue disease, which means that my joints and cartilage don't hold everything together in place. Mm -hmm. I have heart conditions. Oh I have a goodness. list. Yeah, I have wait. quite a list. Well, I'll tell you, <laughs> quite a you, list you have you have the smile when I see you. You are very joyful for your circumstance. Thank you so much. You we are. serve an awesome God, no matter what is happening yeah. to us. Right, right. Um, so. When you were, I guess, growing up and you were now graduating from high school, did you go to college? Or? Yes, I went to college for a couple of years. I started to get sick with headaches. I was having different symptoms and eventually I just had to drop out of school. And then as the years went on, I just started to get worse and worse. Right. So before you started to get sick, what were you thinking that you were going to do when you grow up? I was going to be a professional singer. That's what I wanted to sing for God. That's all I ever wanted to do and act. Mm -hmm. Those are those were always my dreams my whole life. Okay, so when you wanted to sing an act for God, when did you really come to faith in God? I became a born again Christian at 14. Okay, and how did that come about? Actually, my mother and my grandmother brought me to church, and I was listening to the pastor, and he started talking about the sinner's prayer, and I felt in my soul that this is what I needed to do, and I accepted Jesus as my Savior and never looked back. Wow. Never wow. looked back. Okay, now God gives you a trial. Yes, you, quite a few. Your, your sickness and, and, and the fact that you were in, in the wheelchair, did you ever um, get mad at him? No. Okay. I was, it's interesting. I, I, I was sad about it, but I never got angry because I just felt that God would, you know, it says in the Bible that he turns things all around for good for those who love him. And I guess in my soul, I just knew somehow God would turn it around. And I actually had an accident with this arm. I don't have full use of this arm at all either. Mm -hmm. So I had a lot of things that went wrong in a very quick period of time. Every year I was diagnosed with multiple conditions. And I finally stopped at eight disabilities and four autoimmune diseases. And I'm hoping I'm done. <laughs> so how many times were you in the hospital? I mean, you must be, oh, surgery? I, I, I mean, brain, two brain surgeries, a spine surgery, more MRI and I can begin to tell you different types of MRIs, 3D MRIs. They really tried to figure out what was going on with me. Wow, 
Wow. And so through, through this time that you're going through it, what are you saying to God? What are your prayers? What were my prayers? I think it was just get me through it and get my family through it because my family's so sad. Mm -hmm. it just, it, it, they were just so devastated that I stopped walking. And my feeling was, okay, I've stopped walking, but that's not going to stop my life. Mm -hmm. And that's how I just kept moving. Do you think um, being the fact that you're in, in the wheelchair, um, your story, do you think your platform actually gives you more of the doors opened for you to come in to be able to, to speak and to share, to sing? What would you say? Absolutely. I tell people all the time, God has used me more in this wheelchair than he did when I was walking. Right. So I've really come to the conclusion that this is part of the testimony that God wants me to use. Can God heal me? Absolutely. Right. Anytime, whenever he'd like to. But he's using this situation and what I've been through in these rare conditions and talking to other people who have them. Mm -hmm. He's using it for his glory. And it's my honor. Right. It really is my well, honor. Well, I'm, I'm telling you, you know, to ha for people to have such an outcome uh, of joy to be put in a situation like you is definitely has to be the peace that surpasses all understanding. Amen. It is. And I'm in chronic pain. I'm in pain every day. I've had really? a headache every day since 2003. Wow. And so... How do you get past it then? How do you get past the... Medication, chocolate, and prayer. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Is it dark chocolate? It is, is dark it chocolate. <laughs> <laughs> it is dark chocolate, actually. It is dark yes. chocolate. It is. Yeah. So, you know, like I said, is, is that uh, this situation has actually opened more doors. Because, yes. you know, with me, it's open, the fact that I was found two days old in a bathroom has opened more doors. Yes. You know, uh, not that you would want that situation. Right. Okay. But, you know, sometimes when you think about it, you, you see singers out there and what are they doing? Right. Some of them commit suicide. Some of them are on drugs. It's horrible. You know, so how about if they were in your situation and they know God? You know, so you've shown the example that, you know what, you can get through all things. Amen. Because God makes it possible. Amen. He so, sure, well, he really know, does. So, so really. He uh, really does. You're, you really are such an example for people to, you know, Thank to you. hear your story. Thank you so and, much. And, you know, I went on YouTube. Okay, uh, on your website, which your website is? www.emilyrachel, R-A-C-H-A-E-L.com. Okay, so emilyrachel.com, and in which um, you can be able to listen to all the different singing and things like that, and I was very impressed with your singing. Oh, thank you so much. Now, did you have training in singing, or? I went to school for a couple of years, but... I started to get sick in different ways physically, so I had to drop out of school. I was actually having a lot of vocal problems, and I was a vocal major, but it was just this honor that God gave me, and I stopped singing for about 10 years. I just, right. I couldn't sing at all. I would, I would open up my voice, and nothing would come out. So it's been about the last year and a half that God healed me, and I can sing now. Well, you know, before when you were sharing your, your story to begin with, and you were talking, talking about this, that we have four tonsils. I thought we just had one. We have, we have four. <laughs> you know, two so in your throat and two in the back so of your brain. I just learned something. Okay. <laughs> I'm glad. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you learn a lot about neurosurgery when you have to have brain surgery twice. I you mean, just, that you has learn to be scary because the fact that they got to watch that they don't touch, you know, the memory part yes. or other parts. Yes, yes. Yeah, that, that's Eight it. hours I was under. Oh, mm -hmm. my goodness. Well, thank God that you are here to praise, you know, thank and you. to show. Thank you so much. And um, what's your specialty like? If you had to pick a genre of singing, what, what, do you, what would you say is your favorite? God really put on my heart back when I was 14 years old, gospel jazz, a combination of the two, gospel music and jazz music, and that's really what I love to do. And I'm working now with some songwriters where we're actually trying to get something that has a contemporary feel, mm -hmm. but has a jazzy, bluesy feel to it also. So mm -hmm. I'm so excited that that's finally coming together after all these years. Yeah, <laughs> no, really that, that, that is great. Um, and I'm sure the fact that God, God's gonna provide a way. Amen. But again, I do have to just say that I was impressed with your singing. Thank so I hope people go on to the emilyrachel.com and to listen to you sing. I'd be honored. Thank and you also much. the fact of you coming to share your story because I mean I'm inspired just by hearing your story and, and how you can be joyful in a situation that you've been put in thank you so much you know? now also you model you model yes for the I've done a couple disabled, of models right? yeah I, I was very honored I cried actually because I couldn't believe anybody wanted me to model and yes I've done a couple of a couple of models well, you're shoots, very pretty so. girl oh thank you mm -hmm. <laughs> thank you very yeah. much as are you, no, no, thanks. Yeah, you are. but um what was I going to say? So now you also got an award, I believe, uh, I, I read? Yes, I won Miss Wheelchair New York USA, and then I came in first runner-up in the national competition. So I received the Namaste Award, Miss Congeniality, 
and people's choice. So I was very happy to, to earn those three. And now what's nice is I was able to do that and it was an honor, but now I could really focus on the music. Right, no, that's great. And then you also have your best friend over here. Right? This is Carmel, my service dog. Mm -hmm. And she changed my life in a completely different way. I was in a nursing home mm -hmm. and I learned about canine companions and I said the doctors wanted me to stay. And I said, no, I'm leaving. If there's a problem, I'll come back. And mm -hmm. she was the impetus that made me want to get out of the nursing home. Oh, and really? I didn't even receive her yet, but I just knew in my soul that I was supposed to get this dog. But what does she do? What does she do for you? Like, you know, she, how does she help you? She picks things up off the floor. I've taught her to press the elevator button with her nose. Okay. She will get things. She'll get the leash if I drop it. She will get the dog bowls for me so I don't have to read. She does a lot of work for me where I don't have to because I have arthritis in my back. I have about six different things wrong mm. with my back. So she helps me with the pain levels by getting things for me. But she was trained to do 44 commands before I got her and I taught her to do another 12. Oh wow, that's your smart dog. She is, she's very... She's is, it, is there something that you just want to show like uh, as an example? Oh of, yeah, sure. Training? Carmel, stand. Meanwhile, get the leash. And look at her, she ma matches Come on, you. Get the leash. That's it. Yes, yes. Oh, good girl, thank you. Yes, this leash and this collar was actually designed by Around the Collar. Mm -hmm. they they're incredible. They oh, design. I know, I know them. Sharon's incredible, yes. she really is. Yeah. Come on, heel, please. It's my neighbor's sister. Yeah. Um, now, and also her back, she almost has like, Oh, yes, we bling that out. Yes, this is, this is the pet. It just says, I don't know if we can get her to yes. turn. Carmel, come here, Mama. That's it. Good girl, yeah. turn, turn, Very nice. Turn. Yes. How old is she? Sit. I don't think you can see it. See, she's habit to sit, Dom. She is eight. She just turned eight. Oh, okay. I don't know if you can oh, yeah. see it, but come yeah, on. Yeah, you gotta be careful because the mic behind you. Okay. Yeah, you don't want to move it too much. Okay. Um, but um, so she's eight. She's okay. eight. She just turned eight. Oh wow. And she changed my life. And she actually, it's how my husband Frank and I met through the organization. We met through a puppy raiser. And when I was reading about canine companions, on when I was in the nursing mm -hmm. home and I was online. I knew in my soul that this dog was going to change my life, and I really believed that I would meet somebody through the organization. Now, people don't believe that, mm -hmm. but it is what I was told, and mm -hmm. that's exactly what happened. Really? And I met my amazing husband, and we both have service dogs, and we lead our lives prayerfully by example, and now, there you go. You need help to get out of here. Yes. Your, your husband needs help to get out of his wheelchair as well. He can do it himself. Okay. Do you have anybody that comes to your house to help the both of you? I have, I have an aide that's with me five, four days a week. Okay, okay. So yeah. she helps me with whatever I need help, cooking, mm -hmm. you know, all kinds of things that everybody else takes for granted that I need some help with, and sure. she's very good, very kind sure. person. Your family nearby? No, but my husband's family is nearby, but people, okay. my family's on the island. Okay, good, good. Um, so now, you do singing, you, uh, and uh, you've gone to, what places have you gone to so far in singing? Well, recently I just did WOW, I did Women of Worth, which nice. was very okay. exciting. Mm -hmm. I'm singing at Samantha's again, and I'll be there on December 9th headlining, which I'm very excited about. I haven't okay. done that since I was 18. Mm -hmm. Yes, please, I would love to have you there. Mm -hmm. Very excited, mm -hmm. very honored. Those are the, those are the, and I've done a couple of other things. I've sung at carnivals and different churches and things like that, and trying to branch it out, prayerfully do an album. That's right. what's always been on my heart. Now, when you are singing, are you also sharing your testimony at the same time? Yes. Yeah, that's, that's yes. important for people to know. Yeah, absolutely. People say to me all the time, I'll never complain again. And I say, you can complain, it's fine. But if God's using what's happened to me to inspire you, then all the glory goes to Him. Well, you know, sometimes when I'm going through trials in my life, I kind of um, think about, you know, I was found two days old in a bathroom. Mm -hmm. you know? yeah. <laughs> so what I'm going through is not so bad after all. And so, that's incredible. God turned that around too. Yeah, so I think sometimes what it is is that people have to think about other stories, yes. other people that are in worse situation than them. I mean, you, you got to figure there's people in other nations that has no place to even go to, to the bathroom in private, you know? And they don't even have wheelchairs. Yeah, you yeah, know? It's horrible. Yeah. And um, so now you, you belong to, um, like, a, you know, because you guys have so many different illnesses, so. <laughs> I have quite a few. Yeah. So I guess <laughs> you've got a, a lot of groups and new friends. and I do. There, there, there are some. It's hard to find people who have the same conditions because they're, they're very unusual conditions. But I am. I have a couple people on Facebook that I connect with and talk to. And mm -hmm. we all try to help each other. When the doctors don't understand, we self-diagnose a lot. Mm -hmm. And we talk to other people who have similar conditions or the same. Because when you go to a doctor and they say, we don't know how to spell it, we don't know what it is, you have to learn as you go. And that's what we do. So are you um, trying to get like an organization that would do research 
at all to they have they have different ones there there's one in Baltimore that's working on a lot of, of research for Ehlers Danlos syndrome patients which is fantastic do you have any hope of trying to get healed you know th you know um, is there is there any hope of, of the fact that uh, they're coming to any kind of um, you know remedy or, or not yet not yet okay even the brain surgery they say it's not a it's not a cure it's just to try to help you have a semblance of life again because the headaches are so blindingly bad. When I first was diagnosed, I couldn't put a sentence together that I thought I was having a stroke. So by the time they went into the brain, there was no cerebral spinal fluid in the fourth hemisphere of my brain. So they just saved my life. Wow, mm -hmm. wow. Have you ever had any near-death experience while you've gone? I actually stopped breathing on the table. <laughs> yeah, so did anything happen yeah. that you could think of? No. I mean, I, the doctor said I scared him, and then he laughed about it, but I actually stopped breathing on the table. So they said that was fun, but no, I haven't had any that I... Right. I was having seizures for a long time, and those have been healed, thank God. Right. But I did have experiences where I had one where I saw myself. So maybe that was... That's what I'm talking about. I was yeah. on the ceiling. I, I yeah, saw myself that. So yes, I guess yes. I did have yeah, one Yeah, you once. started, and then maybe you just came back. Right. Right, thank God. Thank God, um, yes. Now, does the doctor give it any kind of uh, time limit? Or do they say More surgeries, but I, I figure yeah. I'm good. Let's not, let's not poke the bear. <laughs> yeah, no, 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 no. But yes, they right. want to do more surgeries on me, and I just, it's very dangerous when you have EDS to have surgeries because you can bleed out more right. easily. Right. So I really don't put myself through that unless I really have to. Right, right. No, definitely. Um, so now, what are you hoping um, that God, you know, how God would help you to get through your uh, singing career? I just pray for an album and pray for, for Christian songwriters and other people who, who see the vision that I do. And that's, my, that's what I've always wanted to do. Is, and now, now I have a real platform to do it, not just as a title holder, but because the fact that he healed me. I mean, I could literally not sing a note. Mm -hmm. When I first met Frank I, Frank, I would sing to him on occasion, but it was so painful and required such effort. Mm -hmm. And now it's so much easier, and I'm just tickled pink. I don't know how else to put it. I'm so thankful to God. Would you say your singing is different? If, uh, now compared to before you had gotten sick before you you had the problem with your voice and things like that would you say it changed yes vocally it didn't change so much it's gotten stronger mm -hmm. but it's definitely it's coming from a different perspective now because when i was singing professionally when i was 18 i wasn't in the kind of pain that i'm in now so now when i sing songs about pain i really know it mm -hmm. right so right, it, sure. it comes out yeah, more passion yeah definitely mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. yeah so when you're wanting to write songs what would you say your song would be geared to? Like, how would it be geared to? I love story songs. So one of my goals is I would like to write a song about what it felt like to stop walking. That's something I would like to start working on. But because I can't song write, but I can write lyrics a little bit, it, I really want to focus on God's love and how he really does get us through everything, no matter what. Well, God can make all things possible. I mean, Amen. you know what? Came out to see the CD album last year, I, and I'm not a songwriter. I have no idea what a what is it a note or a key right, even right. looks like things wow. like that. <laughs> and so the melody and the lyrics actually would just come out. That's fantastic. So I had four different artists actually um, that I ch you know chose to to sing my songs. So actually I it's funny because right now God has blessed me with another song. So I don't know if a second album will be coming out. So we'll see. We'll see. Good for you. God bless you. That's, yes, that's fantastic. But, um, wow, that's wonderful. Yeah, that's no. a gift. Well, it's, no, it's definitely a gift. I do have to say, you know, and, and because I know that it's impossible for me. So it's I definitely understand. a gift that God Yes, I yeah. completely understand. <laughs> <laughs> I really do. I understand completely. You know? So now, uh, when you're going out and things like that, um, are most places now handicap accessible and things like that, or are you finding it? Nah, that's a tough one. Yeah, I mean, we... We, we do run into problems sometimes. It's infuriating. We try to get to 7-Eleven to get a coffee and we can't get in. Mm. It gets very frustrating. People park in our spots all the time. They mm. park where the curb cuts are and we can't get out of the van sometimes. It's, it's very, very frustrating. So it's one of the things I try to tell people is those, those lines are there so that we can get our ramp out. Please don't park in those places. We need them. Right. And then, right. you know, we see people all the time who use the spots that I don't you know they don't need they don't need any cane they don't right. need a walker and they're using the spot and then we don't have any place to park so we do go through mm -hmm. that and we go through a lot of times where we can't get into buildings it doesn't happen that much but it does happen and in 2016 it shouldn't happen at all right we should mm -hmm. be able to get anywhere just like everybody else but sure we'll now, get there do you drive i don't my husband does i can't because okay. i only have one arm so i can't 
Okay, so you're saying you're not really getting so much of a, of a feeling in that? Yeah, I have a brachial plexus injury, so there was nerve damage during a transfer. So I can move the fingers, but I can't use the arm, and that happened eight years ago. I was fully functional up until that transfer, and now I lost. That was hard. That mm -hmm. was when I said to God, now I only have one limb. Mm. Now I only have one limb that functions completely. Right. Why, Lord? And would you please heal it? And it's, it's gotten better. I can actually move the fingers now, but I can't move the arm. And that, that's frustrating sometimes, but I've learned to overcome and try to do what I can with it. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Um, so when you, when you wake up in the morning, how long does it take for you to, to get ready? It's not that bad. No? Yeah, it's really not that bad. A few minutes because I just, you know, I've learned. No, I mean dressed <laughs> and ready for the day. Oh. You know, not that 20, 25 minutes. Well, not, you do better than bad. me. <laughs> <laughs> it's not that bad. Makeup's a different now. It doesn't. It's not that bad. Uh, well, that's good. That, that's I get good. help, so it's it helps. Yeah. Now, now, are you going to be singing any, um, any place now? That uh, if uh, you have like a list of events on your website? Yes, I do. I actually do. December 9th, I'll be at Samantha's. I'm doing another interview in a couple of weeks, which I'm very excited about. Another TV interview, so I'm very, very excited about that too. And see where God leads us next year. Yeah, no, that's good. And which is, again, emilyrachel.com. And this way they'll be able to kind of learn more about your story. Um, and I think what's important is to really hear you sing. Thank you. Because I think they'll be impressed. Thank uh, you so much. Just the way I was that. impressed. Thank well, you, you. you know, because you want to get other people's opinion. Yes. Just to really see, you know. Yes. Is this something that I'm just thinking, or is this something that, you know, really, you know, that I'm blessed with a voice that people would like to hear? Right. Yeah, right, exactly. And and uh, and the fact that I, I hope that um, you know God provides you with the songs and amen. And so now, what kind of <laughs> instruments do you play? I don't, and I couldn't anyway. Now. Oh, okay, okay. So. because you were saying that something to do with the fact that you are um, something to do with music. You know, the fact that you can't write. You said, but you can be able to. I can write lyrics a little oh, bit. Oh, lyrics. But okay. Songwriting itself was not a gift God gave me. I'm praying for it though. It would be nice. I can hear. Sometimes I can hear melodies in my head. I just can't put them down on paper because of the learning disability. Mm -hmm. So now I have people that are helping. I have songwriters, incredible songwriters, that are helping me with that. So I'm right. very excited. Now, do you also um, know any studios? You know, recording studios. I know of one, and I'm actually talking to them about trying to see how to get in there and maybe do a demo or do a mini album or something like that. And. Yeah, well, the, the company that I used, um, and his name is Paul Andrejack, and uh, out in Medford, PM, PMA Recording Studio. And I'll tell you, what a nice guy, and he really helped to put everything together. I love nice. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> nice know? is one of my favorites. Yes. It's too so, much mean going on. So, anyway, on the world. so you, should, you should look him up. Well, yeah, thank you. you know? Thank you so much. I appreciate um, that. Now, is there anything that you would want to say that I might have not asked you, or, you know? Just that God will get you through whatever it is that you're going through and whether it's a cancer diagnosis or any type of serious diagnosis God can and will get you through it you just have to hold on mm -hmm. and I know from experience he will get you through it right now are there support groups that your family can go to to be able to help them get through because I guess it's I gotta be I don't think so I think as a, as a parent you know to be seeing their child running around and being able to you know just be that teenager or to have that career and thinking that there's a future right. and then all of a sudden to find them in the, in the room on the floor right and then that to was a realize, hard day <laughs> it was a yeah, hard day it was know? it was a hard day uh, yeah my family basically just prays about it and leaves it alone Mm -hmm. they, they Where's their faith? I mean, is their faith also in God yeah, as well? Yes, so they just... Yes. They're born again. They just, I think they just believe I'm going to get out of this chair someday, and that would be fantastic, but it's been almost, it's been 11 years now, so... Okay, if God said, if God healed you, mm -hmm. completely healed you, mm -hmm. would you want it? Sure. Okay. I would. If, if... There would have to be that peace that comes with it. There have been doctors that have said, we can get you to walk again if you do this, this, and this, and there was no peace. There wasn't even the beginnings of peace when I was told that. So I knew that that wasn't the avenue to go, and I also knew that that was another surgery. Mm -hmm. But yes, if God wanted to heal me, I would take it. Okay. And I would just believe that he would use the ministry in another way. That's a very interesting question, though. Well, you know what? If you think about it, um, can you imagine? having that testimony to say, I'm standing here today because God did completely heal me. On top of that. That would be fantastic. Yes. You know? That would be and, amazing. Yeah. Well, you know what? Um, you never know the miracles that God can do because we know that, you know, he died on the cross. And Absolutely. when he said it was finished, it was finished. Yes. And uh, sometimes he says, you know, if you have the, uh, the faith of small as a mustard seed, you can save this mountain move 
and it, it would move. Amen. So, you know, um, maybe somewhere along the way, God will bless you, bless you with that opportunity. He's already healed me from a bunch of other things, so mm -hmm. the voice, and I had this horrible ringing in my ears and all kinds of things that the seizures are gone. That was an incredible healing. So, right. yes, absolutely. Yeah. I'm definitely open to it. Yeah, I mean, I've had um, Andrew Womack. I don't know if you listened to him. I've heard the name. You really got to, yeah. Uh, he's, he's on Daystar, but um, Andrew Womack Ministries, and he's got such healing testimonies on mm -hmm. there from, and, 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 and possibly in your situation, if not worse at times. Right, right. Mm -hmm. And because uh, he believes that when it was finished on the cross, you don't beg God to heal you. You demand that God heals you because it was already done. Mm. You know? Interesting. Okay. Yeah, so it's, it's a different way of looking at it. Right. But, um, yeah, so anyway, so I just, again, hope that people go on to your website, emilyrachel.com, and to really, you know, find out where you're going to be singing at. And, and also, if they were interested in to be able to have you come in as a guest sure. to, to, you know, share your testimony as well as speak, they can go on to that website and there just is, contact. There's a link that says contact right next to the blingy microphone. <laughs> okay. My husband designed the website, so yes, you'll be able to contact me, and I'll get right back to you. Right. No, that's great. Absolutely. That's great. So I just want to thank you and thank, thank you, you for Carmel so to, for being my guest. My pleasure. Okay. She's a good girl. Yes. Yeah, she didn't even know she was here. <laughs> <laughs> I know. <laughs> good you girl. have my two dogs here. Forget it. Oh my goodness. <laughs> the one dog never uh, barked until the second dog came along. Oh. <laughs> but yeah. But again, thank you, and I just thank pray that God will somehow uh, continue to, um, you know, make really your your dreams come true. Thank you. Thank, thank you, you so much. God okay. bless you. You thank too. You. Thank you. you too. And I want to thank you so much for joining us today. And as you notice, uh, how Emily is very special and how joyful she is, even in the circumstances that she, you know God has, you know, right now that she is in. So if you think your life is bad, sometimes think of the worst things of other people in their life, and you, you kind of look at, and then you're like, you, you know, your situation, you know, it's not so bad after all. So um, I do speaking events. But, um, I would love to be able to come to your place to be able to share my testimony as well as I would sing some songs in between and um, also if you could be able to like my Facebook page Inspire Blessings so this way you'll know about the different shows and the different events of Inspire Blessings so I, again thank you so much for joining us today keep inspired blessings with an arm's reach to help give you comfort when others are at a loss for words thank you and God bless Jean Marie Prince dot com and cdbaby.com to accept and receive Jesus Christ as your Lord and Savior please say this prayer I know that I am a sinner who needs forgiveness Jesus please forgive me for all my sins and purify me I know that you died and rose again to pay for my sins I need you to be my Lord and Savior for the rest of my life Thank you in the name of Jesus. Amen. With man, this is impossible. But with God, all things are possible. My life is in your hands. My life is in your hands. You took control when I was young, when I was not able.